Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get a list of all the apps which are installed on your Android phone for the API version uh, 31 and above, basically Android 12 and above. So there has been some recent changes in API level 30, I guess, and we'll see what are those changes. So let's begin. I will just name this application as uh, list apps. Uh, the name doesn't matter. Uh, I'll choose the latest API uh, level 31 which is Android 12 and click finish. I will wait for my ID to load the basically the Android Studio environment to load. So once your <coughs> Studio environment loads up, it will show it like this. So most of the things remain same in uh, the latest version of uh, Android API level uh, uh, 12. But one major difference which the Android has introduced is by default it doesn't allow or it doesn't encourages any app to get the list of all the uh, installed apps by default. So for that we may require to use a permission called query all packages uh, in the manifest file. Please note when you are using this uh, permission it will be possible to list down all the installed apps. Uh, definitely, but when you are hosting this app on the uh, Play Store, then the Android will expect you to give more explanation and justification why you need it. Otherwise, by default, uh, we uh, Android encourages that we don't use this permission and we just see the list of the apps which are by default visible or easily visible to any other app. So we'll use both the we'll see both the use cases here. So you know, with with this permission and without this permission, uh, and there is some red error. So I will just see. I think we can suppress it, suppress this uh, error because what this error says is we should use the query. Okay, probably I can show you. Uh, I will do. So if I go here, and if I see the list of errors, so what it, it says is we should use queries declaration instead of this particular permission. So but the problem in queries is you will have to introduce or you have to declare a specific package, a specific apps which you know like Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever. Then you can use that. But here our intention is to get list of all the packages, all the apps. So then uh, it may not be wise to use queries uh, over here. So I'll just comment it out. No, not comment, sorry. I'll just suppress it. So I'll just use this suppress. Uh, to ignore this particular uh, data warning so that it behaves uh, as per expectation and we'll of course toggle this permission and see how it behaves or how it impacts our uh, uh, final output. So here we'll just make a simple layout. I'll keep it simple. Uh, so I'll just probably make it text view. I'll give some ID to it. So here we'll probably display the count of our uh, apps which are installed on our uh, uh, phone. And this button will be our uh, uh, trigger point. So we can just make, uh, name it like list apps. Okay, we'll put some constraints. Otherwise, it will give error, not warnings. Warnings we can ignore for the time being. And probably I'll use list view uh, to, yeah, so to list all my uh, apps. So I'm just bringing it in between. I'll again give some constraints I'll give it some ID also because I like to access it uh, from my Java code and apart from this what else uh, probably I'll also uh, this should be an attribute called a scroll uh, a scroll bar so if you come here make sure the vertical scroll bar is changed to true okay so now it's true so it's a scrollable because I am pretty sure the list will be long and you we may need to uh, scroll it so make sure you enable this and I think more or less that's fine. Uh, warnings you can ignore. Uh, one more thing before I proceed, I'll just quickly define my uh, method for button, button list apps, so that I can associate it with the button in my layout. So if I go back to my layout and in the button, go to your own click attribute, and here just choose these particular methods. Yeah. So now whenever this button is clicked, this particular method will be called. So this was the structure of the layout more or less. Now we will start doing our Java code. So first and foremost, I will just define quickly the two variables, text view and the list view, which are my widgets uh, to be 
accessible from the Java code. Yes, perfect. And here I go in this text view equals to find view by id r dot id dot text view find view by id r dot id dot list view. Perfect. Okay. And uh, oh no, I think I missed something. So this should be like this. Okay, not a good day probably. Yeah, I think yeah. So now both of these variables are getting uh, uh, some values assigned. Basically, that they are getting associated with the right widget. And now we can start our code here. So in the code, first and foremost, we'll make it a list, and list will be of application info. Application info. Uh, no, no, and then application info list. You can name this variable anything; it doesn't matter. And then we'll go for get package manager get installed applications and probably here i will be like probably we can go for package manager no no not this one uh, probably i can directly type probably get underscore meta data yeah so basically we need all the metadata of uh, the particular apps uh, which i installed the list and what else? Of course, I will repeat. We'll uh, see how this particular permission will impact our output. So if I go back to the Java code, and here once we have the application for, then we can have the string array or strings uh, array in which will contain or will uh, pull out the all the app, apps name in the string format. So we can make it like a string. And the size of this will be, of course, the application info list dot size. Perfect. Once we have it, what else? Then we can. What we can do is we can. Uh, uh, okay, we'll need the size also, right? Uh, the final size so that we already have here. But we'll have to pop up those names one by one in, in this string array. So what we can do is we can uh, probably inside some index uh, uh, variable in i equal to zero. And then in loop, what we can do is we can extract one by one application info out of this list of application info list. So we can name this as application info. Again, you can name anything uh, uh, this particular variable, and we will just application info in the list above as above. Okay. And once we have it, then what we can do is we can pop up this string array uh, like each of this ith uh, value. With this particular application info dot get package name. I think not get, I think it's just, yeah, the perfect package name. So once we have it, then we can increase the ith index by i plus plus so that we one by one populate all the uh, arrays, uh, all the elements of our array, strings array. Okay, perfect. So once we have it, then our output is over here in this particular array and we have to just uh, display it in our list view. So what we can do it is we can just pull out this list view and then set adapter and here we can just create a new array adapter perfect and this will type string of course because we will be displaying the string and then what we can do is we can main activity dot this so that will be our context and what else uh, we will android dot uh, dot layout dot simple list item one dot so I don't think it's expandable I think it will be simple and then list item one yeah and what else we can just then put our string array here yeah and that's all I guess so this will <coughs> Print or this will uh, display all the elements of string array in my list view in the as a item list, simple item list. And we can also display in the text view, set text. And here we can display the size. So what we can do it is over here probably we can just pull out this application for list dot size. Yeah, and probably that's it. I mean we can probably print something like uh, f r installed so this message you can of course anyone can customize so i think this is error because 
it is not send i think i just click and move set uh text this one yeah perfect yeah so it seems like more or less it's done um i'm starting it in an emulator to see whether it's displays or not something so in the meantime when emulator is coming up i just clean up my code if possible or yeah make it a little more better perfect my emulator is coming up so i'll wait for emulator to completely load yeah so code also looks very small and clean now perfect i'll wait for the app to come up app looks like it has come up if i click this button uh perfect so i can see 181 apps i installed and i can see a list of apps if i scroll i can see uh, uh, lots of apps with the complete package name of course you can do lots of processing here instead of printing package name, you can get the individual names and all you can always uh, do some kind of string processing uh, uh, over here but as long as you are getting the data it's always possible to do whatever you want but the main part which i want to focus on is this particular permission so as i told like if you are giving this permission and if you're hosting your app on the play store there are chances that it may not get accepted so you have to be very careful while using this particular there's few exceptions few use cases where it is accept, accepted like if your app is for antivirus or some kind of security features then it will allow google will allow but you have to really justify it nicely so what i will do is i'll just comment out this line and see how it behaves so right now it's 181 apps it's, it's visible on your uh, yeah just uh, zoom out and you'll see zoom in and you'll see it's 181 apps which, which is showing up and if i comment it out and if i rerun the my app in the emulator and if i click this you now it shows only 68 apps so that means uh, these are the 68 apps which are by default visible um, they have a very yeah, the default visibility is on for this app so that's not a problem it's any app can visible and see them and uh, otherwise uh, uh, yeah you will not get the complete list and uh, this is the preferred way you should not use this uh, permission um, but yeah if you really need if you are really designing something where you really need you can definitely use it but be careful uh, the high chances uh, it may get rejected or declined in the play store when you're hosting your app so that's all i wanted to show in this uh, video that's pretty simple and straightforward the only thing is a uh, new permission has been introduced by google and as google also says uh, that you can use the queries instead they, this is also uh, introduced recently with i think there are different kinds of uh, i think uh, uh, metrics which you can use like uh, package or providers so package is something which you can use for a, a accessing a specific package uh, here so package and then android name and then you can give the specific uh, package what you want to use over here but i'll not get into this pack uh, query part i just want to stick to the this main uh, uh, permission which has been added uh, from android uh, 30 onwards so uh, api level 30 onwards so please be careful so that's all uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for this video then please put it in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice